For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the, the force of each member of the truss. So, basically, let's look at E. We have a force going down and a force going to the right. Therefore, this force, EV, has to be going this way. And this angle is 30 degrees given right here. So, you know that the sum of the forces in the x are equal to 0, so 450 going to the right at E minus ED cosine of 30 is equal to 0, which would make ED equal to 520 pounds. And as you can see, that member is in compression. Now, if you go to D, you see you get a vertical line. So this is a zero force vector. And this reacts this way. So DC is equal to ED. It is equal to 520 pounds in compression. This can only have a vertical reaction going up. So if this is going to the right, this has to be going to the left, which makes this going to the right. This is a zero force vector, which will make this one also a zero force vector. This one is going to the left. This one's going to the right. So at C. At C we have a force going this way, which is DC. <clears throat> at an angle of 30 degrees we have a reaction we got a force going that way so as you can see DC cosine of 30 minus BC is equal to 0 which would make BC equal to 450 pounds and as you can see that is in tension and if you go to B you have one force going to the right of 450 so the force going to the left AB is equal to BC, which is equal to 450 pounds, again, in tension. So this one can have a reaction going up. If you look here, back at E, you know that the sum of the forces in the Y, sum of the forces in the Y has to be equal to zero. So if the sum of the forces on the y is equal to zero, then we can assume that this one's going up, not necessarily going up, but we're going to assume it's going up for now. So negative 600 plus AE plus ED sine of 30 is equal to zero. Now if AE comes out negative in this equation when we solve for it, then you know it's going down. So when you solve for AE, by plugging in ED, which we already found right here, you're going to get that AE is equal to positive 340 pounds. So this was right, it was going up, which means this is going down, which means this is going to the left. And AE is in compression. Again, if when I build this formula, I assume AE was going up right here. So if it was come out to be negative 340, then it will be just flip up the arrow and you should be good to go. So final answer, final answer, final answer, final answer, and final answer for all the members of the trust. And the two in the middle are zero force members. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.